Welcome to North Andover, Massachusetts, home of one of the best stories in college basketball, as we've got NEC action on ESPN+. Plus. Today, it's the first place Merrimack Warriors welcoming in the Wagner Seahawks. Wagner's going to have to do. They got a quick one that time. Good start for the Seahawks. Curtis Cobb, the third, a UMass transfer who can really fill it up to the corner. And that is Devin Jensen starting right where he left off. Fun start here in Massachusetts. Corner three is good. These two teams have come out hot. That's Nesby. Deep three for Jensen, and it, they are rating triples here at Hamill Court. Can you hang in the turnover battle? Freeman extra pass to the corner. Cobb pulls and hits. Curtis Cobb pull it back out. Kick out, Daring knocks it down. It's a trifecta bonanza in Massachusetts this afternoon. Quick in transition, was rejected by Miner. Kick out to Cobb, who cranks it home. It's just, it's just fun. Guys are lighting it up. You can throw out the records in this conference. From the corner. Make it eight for 10 for the Warriors. Because they'll work it. They'll work it with the ball and the, the security of this guy's hands. Javaris Hayes. Look at that pass. What a dish. Laid up and in by Joyner. Timeout Wagner. The Warriors have turned it up a notch. Yeah, turned it up a notch because of the passing ability of Javaris Hayes. Six on the shot clock. Here's Hayes surveying with the give to Jensen. Make it 11 dishes. Both teams gonna do really well. There's the vision we talk about all the time. Watkins drains it. Mikey Watkins. Get separation because of that. Wow, oh, Mikey Watkins. Dish and a slam by Jordan Minor. Cobb got a step and knocks it down. High and soft right there by Curtis Cobb. A little in-between game. Those two started together at St. Yeah, Anthony's. Yeah, They've yeah. been linking up for years. Yeah, and along with Julia Lord. Oh, oh, what a block. Rejected. Here comes Hayes. Up ahead to Watkins. Merrimack pulling away. Otherwise, the clock is just going to wind down every time. Watkins with five. Crossover, kick, Hayes. An early dagger. Javaris Hayes can pass. He can steal. He can score. A Division I record with 17 wins in their first year of reclassifying. A standing ovation as the first place Merrimack Warriors. That's their 12th Northeast Conference victory. All right, here with Javaris Hayes, who just had, again had an unbelievable performance passing the basketball. But talk to me a little bit about how your guys uh, as a team, Wagner put up a good fight today. Talk to me with the adjustments maybe at halftime they were able to secure this victory. Um, I guess you could say we got too caught up in a record and like we kind of like played lazy and like we kind of let them get comfortable, with which, which isn't usually us. But I guess you could say like we talked around halftime and we was like, hey, we got to start playing our basketball and we got to start like getting up in them. And literally like we, we came out and played defense harder and that's, that's the performance, I guess you could say. Well, you have an interesting uh situation and that you get a real shot at becoming the all-time steals leader in NCAA basketball. That's an amazing stat, all-time, all levels. Yeah. How does that feel? Uh, I guess you could say, like, if, it feels great knowing that, like, you could accomplish something great. But also, I guess you could say, without me doing that and, like, the team actually helping me get to where, like, get to like this achievement, I guess you could say like the wins wouldn't be happening. So I guess you could say this is a big part of our wins. Now lastly, uh, you had 15 assists in this game. You, you've been passing the ball amazingly well. How have you adjusted your game? You know, the team has gone from Division Two, and you made this amazing transformation to Division One. How have you personally adjusted your game? 
Um, just being more of a point guard and a leader, like having confidence in my team and like actually putting the ball in their shooting pockets, knowing that like we shoot a lot of shots, knowing they're gonna hit them. So I guess you could say they had a great night, and literally I got them the ball where they needed, and they was hitting them. I noticed that though, off the dribble, you have an uncanny ability of throwing beautiful strikes right into the shooting pocket. Man, you you're fun to play with. Yes, thank you. I appreciate your time. Appreciate you. Having me. All right, let's bring in Coach Gallo right now. Coach, was second half more way like uh, you like to see it? Yeah, that was more our type of game, and um, you know it slowed down to our pace. Uh, we really defended. Uh, you could kind of tell in the first three, four minutes of the second half. You know, I said to our guys at, at halftime, I said, "How many times did we actually run a guy off the three that half?" Um, and the answer was two. And it was Curtis Cobb twice, and he just sidestepped and, and, and got good looks. Usually we have a second guy running at that guy. So I don't know if you noticed those first couple possessions. It was really hard for them to find a shot. Um, we said, stop thinking it. Who cares what they're doing? Just you know, make the next play, and, and we started making those plays. It's got to feel great, everything you've done here with, with the program, uh, the, adjust, the uh, transformation to Division One, and it's been seamless. Uh, just tell us a little bit about how you feel about all that. Yeah, it's great. You know, as a graduate as well, and, and seeing how much um, the school has changed and grown. You know, there was only 1,800 undergrads in 2004 when I graduated, and we're up over 4,000 now. So, um, you know, th these seniors came in with me when I got the job, and. They've won a lot of games in Division II, and we haven't changed anything we've done. You know, we have the same preseason, we have the same practices, uh, we run all the same stuff, and you know, they just stick to the system and trust each other, and it's it had good results. Now, what do you want to see from your group down down the stretch, and uh, hopefully in, into the postseason? Yeah, I mean, it's um, you know four games left now, and we're in a conference title race with you know Robert Morris and St. Francis PA. So, um, you know, we kind of control our own destiny here, and, and we have you know two home and, and two on the road, and. You know, we've, we've been good in both venues, so hopefully we just keep on playing Merrimack basketball. I've enjoyed watching your team. I've been able to watch it two times. You do a great job. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, John, back to you.